Live. You're watching Fox 44 News First Edition. Well, welcome back. With Juneteenth events going on this weekend, there's one special event continuing on in honor of a local icon. So, good morning. With me, I am joined by Gino. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, great to have you. Thank so, you. Uh, tell us, uh, you guys have a lot of events happening this weekend for Juneteenth. Yes, yes. So, events all across the city starts uh, tonight. You have the old school Greek show, uh, then starts off tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, downtown at the Unity Fest, uh, Juneteenth Unity Fest downtown, uh, all sorts of activities, right? We'll have food, family, fun, we'll have panel discussions. Uh, thank you to uh, Office uh, Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom. You have Baton Rouge General that'll have a, a health fair out there. Uh, we'll be doing panel discussions inside about public safety and economic development. We have yoga, fitness activities, all sorts of things going on. So just bring the families on out, 10 to 2. Yeah, sounds like yeah. a lot. So uh, all these events, uh, is there any kind of fee for people to pay to take part in those? No, no, it's all free. Uh, uh, you know, uh, again, thankful to the sponsorships. Uh, you know, my team over at Power Coalition, Baton Rouge General, and some other community partners. You know, uh, it's all free, so let's just bring the family out. Yeah, and yeah. there's one specific event that you guys are going to be doing uh, that I want to focus on, okay. the uh, caravan that's going to be happening. Yes, yes. So we have the Unity Caravan. This is actually the third year that we'll be doing that. Uh, and so it'll start downtown at the Unity Fest about 1130. Uh, the, the mayor and also Congressman Troy Carter actually have a, a really special uh, announcement. So come out for that. And then from there, the, uh, the caravan will leave there. Uh, that's being done in partnership with Kadav. Uh, it's also uh, uh, the, uh, the Baton Rouge African American History Museum and also uh, uh, State Representative Denise Marcel and ourselves. And so, you know, all four of us just kind of got together. And so we'll start at the Unity Fest and then we'll go past a couple of different spots uh, at Old South. Uh, then we'll uh, go. Uh, ultimately end up in uh, uh, Eden Park community at the Gus Young Park, and that's where they'll be, they'll be having another Juneteenth celebration there as well. Okay. Yeah. And what's the significance of this caravan event? You know, it's, it's to, you know, we say unity, right? And so you've had the different groups across the city that have always had community events, right? Uh, you know, celebrating and uplifting uh, Juneteenth. That specifically starts with uh, Sadie Roberts Joseph, right? She was really kind of the, the one that you know, just kind of made Baton Rouge aware about Juneteenth and also promoting black culture, right? And then, you know, Kadav has been doing their pre-Juneteenth event that they just had last week. They've been doing that for about 28, 29 years. And then also that, gr uh, that group over at Gus Young led by State Representative uh, Denise Marcel has also been, you know, doing this since I think the early 90s, right? Uh, downtown, we've only been doing it three years. And so we talk, start talking about unity and all of us really trying to amplify the culture, coming together and, and bringing black people uh, and, and people of color together, but then also the whole city, right? We want the entire city to come out participate in all the events, but also participate in the caravan. And so we'll have that show of unity and that caravan going all across the city and then ultimately ending up back at uh, Gus Young Park. Their event is from 12 to 4. Again, we're 10 to 2 downtown. And so there's a way that we can do, uh, you know, community events and also the, uh, utilize the large prominent spaces downtown at Galvez Plaza and this big show of unity. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like a great opportunity for everyone to come together. Absolutely, absolutely. We have floats uh, that's a, that'll be a part of the, uh, the caravan. We also have cars as well, honking. People will be, you know, it's not really a, a parade, right? So we'll, a couple people might throw a few things out there. But once we uh, arrive at Gus Young Park, we'll, you know, join those festivities and be handing out shirts and all sorts of literature and things of that nature. All right. Well, yeah. it sounds like a good time. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for the invite. All right.